Hello everybody, this is Graphic Tools Lab. How have you been? In this tutorial we will learn about utilizing After Effects to make video looks like swimming pool. Use this tutorial way to modify fractal noise, tint, and glow effect. This is very easy, and it takes you a couple of seconds. Before I get started, I just want to say, if you want more of tutorials make sure to hit the thumbs up button, or comment and subscribe, that's very encouraging. Okay then, let's get started. In this video we will use After Effects CC. Follow my steps slowly. I will proceed with the workspace in default mode. Click New Composition. Make the width 1920, and height 1080 pixels, and duration for 20 seconds, then click OK. Go to Layer, New, Solid. Click OK to create solid. Go to Effects and Presets. Search Fractal, Fractal Noise is below the noise and grain. Drag Effect to Solid Layer. Go to Effect Controls Panel. The Fractal Type is Strings. The Noise Type is Spline. I'll type in 250 for Contrast. The Brightness is minus 25. Don't worry about Preview Image, we can handle it. Expand the Transform Properties. Deselect the Uniform Scaling. I'm going to take the width up to 550. I'll type in 80 for height. You can control offset. I'm gonna probably leave about there. If you take down complexity it makes more blurry, and if you modify right up it becomes more sharper. I'll type in 2. Make sure your time bar at 0. And let's click Evolution to activate keyframe. I'm gonna take time marker up to 10 seconds. Let's put it to, this is about speed of noise variation. Press N to set work area end. I'll press spacebar to show preview. Click arrow to hide fractal noise properties. Go to effects and presets. Search for tint, it'll be under color correction as you can see. Drag it to layer. Let's change black to 5900C0. And white to 00FFB5. Go to effects and presets search for glow. It is below the stylize. We're gonna modify glow threshold. I'll put it about 55%. Now we have done. This is super simple. Let's press spacebar to show rendered preview. Is cool. So that's all for Graphic Tool Slab. Utilize what you learn and make awesome images. Please keep an eye on more videos to come. Thank you so so much for watching this tutorial.